Hello, hello, Elvira. Uh, first of all, uh, may I take a picture with you all? Yeah. yeah? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, say hello. Hello. Hi. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Paul. And uh, I, I, my presentation slide is already posted to uh, uh, tweet X. So, and uh, I also post my this uh, photo now. Uh, please wait a second. Okay, I posted. Thank you. Uh, first, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, but uh, already introduced. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, in short. Uh, my name is Takai Kishimizuka. I have been living in BGC uh, Manila for uh, past seven months. And uh, I love spicy food, and my favorite Filipino dish is shishig. <laughs> I, I ate last night. Yeah. <laughs> it's good for me. Yeah. And I, I also love a craft beer. So uh, every weekend I will go, I, I go to a craft beer uh, shop, and I drink uh, Filipino craft beers. And I have been using a Python since 2004, uh, Python 2.3. And my activities is already introduced. I'll skip it. So uh, let's get started. How does Python get ranked with the LAN function? Uh, this presentation is aimed at those who uh, uh, please raise hand who got into Python but feel something not comfortable. Nobody? Nobody? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, who wonder why len is function, not a method or property dot ranks? Who wonders? Somebody? No? No? Oh, okay. Two or three. Uh, and who think Python isn't object oriented? Okay, uh, two, three, four, thank you. Uh, okay, if you have uh, this question, you are right there. Uh, this uh, material is designed for those looking to move from beginner to intermediate level in Python. Uh, here's the agenda of a talk. There are uh, three parts, and uh, the first one, is how does len function get the length of uh, object is the most important part of this slide. And the second part is introduce a slightly different example based on the first. And the third part is a bit more complex, but uh, I will skip today due to limit the time. I hope you will refer to the slide later. Finally, this, there will be a summary and uh, references. Let's move on to uh, part one. Part one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, how does the len function get the length of an uh, object? Uh, this part is beginner's level. Uh, think of the chili as uh, indicating a difficulty. Uh, what happens inside of len function? For example, let's pass string kuya. It returns four. Next call uh, underscore underscore len underscore underscore parentheses. It's too long to speak. So it's called the uh, Danda Len method, double underscore Len method. Uh, it's called Danda Len. So when you call Danda Len 4, it's returned. This is the same as the first result. Actually, Len parenthesis of J internally execute of J dot Danda Len method. Once len function is necessary, uh, if there is a dot dandar len method is exist, why not just use that? In Java or JavaScript, we can get the length using dot len or dot length property attribute. Why does Python use the dandar len method? Actually, uh, len function that, uh, does a bit more. In this green part, uh, right bottom side, is it checks if the value returned by the storing object is an uh, int type. 
if it's not a int type, it throw a type error exception. This is how the len function uh, guarantee uh, int is returned. Um, by the way, uh, did you see top right chili icon is growing up? It's growing up, yeah. <laughs> Getting longer. If, uh, <laughs> go to back right, uh, if uh, standalone returns a non-int value, it, uh, I wrote this code to see what happens if standalone returns 1.2, a float type, you go to an error, float objects cannot be interpreted as an integer. There is the other exception if you exceed it. Uh, big, big, big and uh, numerical value is returned from a standard method. You got a uh, max, max size blah blah exception. The responsibility of the len function is to call the object dot standard method. Check the ob obtained value and return the appropriate value to their caller. This is called the adapter pattern, which perform interface conversion. The uh, len function adapts the object, extracts the value, processes, processes it, and returns the result. Visually, uh, standard len is split into two, uh, left side and the right side. Uh, left side is uh, uh, string object to provide the standard len method, and right side uh, is means a uh, len function require uh, standard len method to adapt the object. So, what is the adapter pattern? I think you might have heard of it before. I uh, this is this part uh, of this is uh, from Wikipedia. Uh, so in software engineering, the adapter pattern is a software design pattern that allows the interface of the existing class to be used as another interface. It is often used to make existing classes work with other without modifying their source code. And uh, light is a picture of a uh, adapter, uh, AC adapter. It's an AC adapter. Uh, power adapter converting AC from uh, 100 volt to 240 volt to into 20 volt 3 amperes of DC. It's it's an adapter and uh, its uh, socket connector type is an uh, interface and uh, uh, voltage and uh, ampere is a protocol of this. Like this, uh, uh, software also using uh, adapter pattern any, uh, anywhere, uh, somewhere, everywhere. The len function acts as an adapter or for a specific object. Specific means an uh, object that adapts to the protocol of returning a numerical value through the standard interface. If the len function receives a non-numeric type, it will raise a type error exception. Apply the uh, len adapter to list. Specifically, a uh, list adapts to the len adapter. The list standard len method returns the number of elements. The list object know its number of elements, which is three. So standard len method returns three. The len adapter checks this value and finally returns three. Apply the len adapter to dict. Dict also has a standard len method that returns the number of keys. For example, if a uh, dict has age 999 name queer, it has two keys, so it returns two. Now let's try the len adapter with a custom data type. As mentioned, if there is a dandara method, it can work with the len adapter. So implementing 
random line method with uh, will make it work. This random class and random custom class uh, return uh, return a random value return land int zero comma ten return for uh, from a standard method. So it works, but uh, the length of R returns uh, it, uh, another other another value each time. This is not useful class, but uh, it work. Thus, uh, class that adapt to the lane adapter can be easily implemented. A protocol defines the behavior of object. The len function works if there is an object dot dandarlen method. In other words, objects with length must implement the dandarlen method. Implementing this dandarlen method is called implementing the length of pro uh, length protocol. I've been talking about protocols, but where does Python documentation describe them? I've been asked where to find the protocol in the documentation. Looking for it, protocols appear in about four or five pages of the official Python documentation, especially around term like sequence and iterators. Protocols first appeared in Python documentation in Python 2.2 when classes were introduced to Python. I also checked to uh, see if there is a protocol definition in PEP. And the first mention of protocols in PEP was in May uh, 2017, PEP 544. PEP 544 was created to define the term protocol for the introducing of type hints. Uh, it means a type hint proposal required definition of protocols. Otherwise, uh, before the type hint, protocol is not specifically defined. The collection.abc document could be used in place, of, in place of the protocol list in Python. I was looking for a protocol list and found this. Here is the uh, list of methods that should be supported for different types of collections. Uh, container type require dunder contains. Uh, hashable requires dunder hash. Iterable requires dunder iter. Uh, iterator requires dunder next. And uh, sized, sized require dunder length. Size of the collection should have a dandelion method. Summary so far, uh, len is an adapter for uh, objects. Protocols are com conventions for uh, communication between objects and adapters. So far, I have explained that len is adapter. However, some people may say adapter is just a function that checks if it is int or not, right? Uh, couldn't it have been a dot, dot length attribute? You may think, or you may think, uh, why not implement it as a dot length attribute? Here is a quote from the Design and History FAQ docs, uh, official document, in official document. As Guido said, uh, when I read code that says len parenthesis x, I know that it is asking for the length of something. This tells me two things. The result is an integer, and the argument is some kind of container. In other words, uh, each class is implemented uh, for each uh, source code. Uh, like uh, dot length or dot length or dot uh, 
uh, length parenthesis function, uh, you must check the uh, return value uh, of each classes. But uh, length function always return uh, number or raise uh, exception. Never uh, length function does not uh, never uh, return string or some other object. That concludes part of uh, uh, concludes part one so far. I've converted chill level one, but next is I'll introduce an example with if statement because, uh, based on what I've discussed at part one. It's, this is a part two. How if statement that determine a object true or false? This is, I think, it's level too spicy. About if statement, here's an example of uh, if statement. If some object is true, it shows true. And if not, it shows it's false. Internally, it's automatically passed to the bool function and converted. This object, object will uh, pass to a bool function and convert it. So let's start calling the bool function as adapter instead of a function. What happened inside of bool adapter? The bool adapter judge the truthfulness of object. For example, if you pass the number 42, it returns true. You might guess it's calling object dot standard bool method inside, right? Well, that's correct. It's the same as a lane adapter we discussed earlier. So next, let's try it with a string. With strings, oops, it lays attribute error. Uh, if you call a uh, string dot standard method, it call uh, it lays attribute error. What happened? So let's check the specification specification of the bool function in the documentation. Rule to converting number and string by bool, the following is a quote from the official reference. Um, if the class condition for begin, uh, being considered false, if the class define dunder bool or dunder length method, they return the integer zero or the false. Considering it to be uh, considered true, not considered false. This means there is a bit more checking involved that uh, with the LAN adapter. So it seems like it is doing more work. If, uh, let's introduce me the mechanism of the bool adapter with a diagram. If there is no standard bool method, it does something equivalent to uh, bool parenthesis, len parenthesis object. First, let's look at the bool, uh, dunder bool method. Uh, dunder bool method, dunder bool method, this path. Uh, bool adapter check if there is a bool method and use it uh, to extract a Boolean value. If a Boolean type is returned, it use that value. Otherwise, it's through a type error exception. If a dunder bool return a non bool uh, value, it raises a type error. And uh, if an uh, object does not have a dunder bool method, uh, the bool adapter uses a dunder length method and get a value. And uh, if it have a length rather uh, than greater greater than zero, uh, no non zero value, it return uh, it use a bool value and uh, return the true or false. This is uh, the job of the bool adapter. 
I looked up the implementation code of the bool adapter in C Python for verification. Uh, this link is that is that is. Uh, so if you are interested, please check and read it. Uh, this is level six spicy, I think. Next, let's try using the bool adapter with a custom data type. I'm implementing the positive class positive class, positive int class. Uh, it's true for a positive integer. What is does it? Inherit int and uh, implement a dundable method that returns true if self is greater than zero. In practice, uh, 10, 10, number 10 returns are true and minus three returns false because it's not a greater than zero. That conclude our discussion on true determination in if statement. Uh, part three would have been about how four gets the repeating element of an object. But I'll skip it due to limited time. I hope you will refer later. Uh, this, uh, I'm skipping these 10 slides, but uh, it talk about uh, for statement, use uh, ITA adapter and uh, uh, passing. ITA adapter require I, I danda, danda ITA and da, or danda get item and uh, blah, blah, blah. And uh, custom data type I created. And what happened inside? What happened inside? And the protocol is the uh, pro def definition of the protocol is here. Okay. Summary. Uh, to wrap up, in today's talk, I've introduced adapter and the protocol through example of uh, LEN and BOOL. Doesn't it make sense to call LEN is an uh, adapter pattern? Is it? I hope this talk makes you feel that Python is not non-object -ori oriented just because of the LEN function, LEN is function. If you like uh, design pattern, seeing it as an adapter pattern might be uh, satisfying. Also, there is a lot of information in the official reference. Most of the quotes today were from the official reference. I think reading the pep peps will be one of the challenges. Regarding the len function versus dot length attribute, uh, let's put your own preference aside for now. Even just looking at the len function, you can see that there's been a lot of discussion about why the language specification is the way it is today. I followed the history while creating this slide and uh, found a huge amount of information and discussion. I think it is a good way to learn a programming language by following such discussion and reading the implementation code. How to progress from beginner to intermediate? Uh, let's just read the numerous document, uh, documents uh, and uh, code and uh, links from this slide. And it would be interesting to interpret them in your own way, implementing them in Python, and discover things like something doesn't work as expected, or it's not consistent, or this part doesn't have the name of the protocol. By doing this, I think knowledge will naturally accumulate. And the following are references. Uh, skip reading, but uh, very interesting uh, information of in design and history FAQ. And uh, reference, library references, and PEPs, and the blog, the history of Python, uh, written by Guido, 2009. And uh, she Python code pointing. That's all. Thank you. Okay, so well, 
Okay, thank you for that, uh, Takayuki-san. Thank you for uh, lifting up the curtain and uh, introducing us to how LEN works. Now, we do still have some time uh, for Q&A. So, uh, does anyone have any questions? Now, while you are formulating your questions here, I, I do have a question, um, Takayuki-san. So, all right. So, uh, in our attendees, there's a lot of students or those who have just started learning Python, maybe yeah. just a year yet. So knowing what you know now, um, where do you suggest they start with regards to learning about Python? Well, well, to start. Uh, uh, my suggestion is uh, writing what you want to uh, create uh, because uh, I hesitate uh, uh, studying or uh, uh, learning but uh, I want to do create something like um, in, in my case is a uh, game game software so I I must learn uh, hack or hacking uh, source code or uh, uh, in, uh, deep inside uh, of uh, internal of uh, like a machine machine language, but uh, so if you want to have a dream to creating something, so knowledge is uh, following you. Yeah. Okay, well, yes, um, absolutely. Uh, if ever you want to motivate yourself about learning something, it's easier if you're liking what you're doing. Like the suggestion of uh, Takayuki-san, which is perhaps starting a game. Um, now, does anyone... Oh, we have a live question. Go ahead. So, um, in Python, um, say you have a list of strings, right? And then you want to join them with a comma. Uh -huh. um, What's your, what's your opinion on the join function in the string instead of the list function? Which I think it's, I don't know, for me it's like uh, confusing at first. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I, I know, I know. And, uh, uh, recently I use, um, most using language is not Python, just uh, TypeScript I wrote, but uh, TypeScript require a uh, list of strings dot join uh, connect our strings, but uh, uh, sometime I back to Python, uh, I wrong that. So <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's not, uh, I think, uh, uh, mm. I ah, think there's uh, a yeah, yeah. Uh, now, now today, uh, I, I'm helped by a GPT or a copilot, <laughs> it corrects you, me. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just, um, yeah, we all get confused, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I get confused by that also. Yeah, thank you. All right, well, that's as much time as we have for the Q&A. Again, everyone, please give a big round of applause to Takayuki-san.